Hi there and welcome and today I'm going to show you how I scratch built this Val dive bomber. This is a Japanese aircraft a dive bomber which was which came into service at the early, in the early stages of the Second World War if you class Japan entering the war at Pearl Harbor. Uh, these planes did operate at Pearl Harbor uh, but they saw most of their fighting in China. So Basically, it fought throughout the war. It's a Aichi D3A Val. Uh, that's the our code name for it, rather than the Japanese. This is the plane. It's in 28 millimeter scale, and it's entirely made out of card and milliput, which you can get at more or less any store. Just look around for it. It's quite easy to use. It sets quite quickly and. I always find it quite useful. So now I'm going to show you how I built it. So I'm going to show you how exactly to build your own Aichi D3A Val dive bomber. First things first, you need some card. I've got some nice shiny card here. The great thing about card is it's very easy to use. You can use balsa, but it does tend to bend a little. Now, as you can see, I've drawn the basic shape of the wings, the tail plane, and the actual main fuselage. Added to that, you need to bulk the aircraft up a bit, and you use a bit of balsa for this. You can pick balsa up from practically any model store. It's very easy to cut, very easy to shape, and I've just drawn two, well, one line across and a line down. Now the measurements I will explain later but uh, basically I'm using 6mm wood with this um, because it is just almost thick enough I'm going to put another layer on when I need to bolt the plane out a little bit so I'm using the 6mm and then I'll be adding a small layer on top which I'll show you later. All you need to do is cut these out Score the wings because this is a dive bomber and it has slightly gull wings and then start assembling it. And here we have the assembled version. Um, once you've stuck the wings on the bottom uh, you just get the basic airframe, you stick the wings on the bottom, you cut a little hole underneath for it to slot into, you cut a little slit on the side to put the tail plane in and then you have an air, air, aircraft plane shaped model. Then you add the balsa on either side which bulks it out and as you can see makes it look slightly more like an airplane. Now the next bit, slightly more complicated, is actually putting the skin of the plane on. Uh, the, the skin I use milliput to put the skin on you can use various other things. I find milliput's best because it does set extremely solid and it means if you accidentally drop the aircraft, which may happen on occasion when you're playing games, the chances of it getting damaged are really limited. Whereas if you use modelling clay and stuff like that, it can get broken much easier. This is the cheap and nasty way of building it, but it's it will work out quite well when it's done. So, here you have the basic shape of the airplane with the gull wings already bent. I'm going to put the milliput sheen on now and you will see what it looks like. So I have now coated the fuselage of the aircraft with milliput. Uh, put it down both sides. The, you've already got the shape of the aircraft with the balsa that you've shaved off. And so there you go. You have the fuselage with the aircraft done. All you have to do is score the correct lines for the type of airplane you're using. And there you go. It's a little bit rough and ready at the moment, but I'm not really paying too much attention to detail. I'm just putting on what you need because I'm only going to be using this for gaming anyway. So there you go. And next thing is to do the wings. The wings just much the same as the fuselage, although slightly easier to do because you've got a flat surface to work on. I've done the wings and the tailplane so far. I still have the fin to do at the back fin at the back and still needs doing but the wings are done. Uh, what I did I've scored the plane underneath so if you look there's a nice gull shaped 
wing design there. The wings did take slightly more detail than the fuselage. Um, you don't have to put it on, you can just put the flaps on if you want. You are going to be painting over it anyway. It's just, I tend to put a little bit more detail on. Uh, the engine is going to be the last thing I put on, and then the cockpit, and then the rear of the plane. So that is the plane as it stands so far. I will get back when I have finished the cockpit and the tail plane and give you an idea of what it will look like altogether. So now you can see I have covered the rest of the plane in milliput. I've covered the tail plane and the cockpit. I've put the aerial in and a rear machine gun. It's beginning to take a bit better shape now. You can see the gull wings again and the basic design. It looks a lot better now it's got the marks in it and stuff. Obviously if you want to spend a bit more time on it you can shave it and make it look a lot more pristine. I haven't spent too much time on this, I've just been doing it in my spare time. So that's what we have so far. The next thing to do is to add the propeller, the forward cowling, the engine cowling and to put the wheels on the bottom of the plane. So uh, the Val has fixed landing gear so normally I wouldn't bother putting the wheels in but this time I'm going to put wheels on. So that's how it looks so far. I will have a lot of fun trying to put the propellers on and yes. And now you see the plane with its landing gear attached and its nose attached. Now there you go, that's the side view of it. Uh, the wheels are made out of basically putting two pieces of dowel on the base of the plane with a little bit of metal just to hold it in and then just making some milliput landing gear. Just roll a ball, squash it and cut it in half and that makes tyres and there is the plane. Nicely finished with everything you need. And now I'll just paint it up and you have a plane ready to play with. And just as an idea of scale, that is a World War II German guy stood next to it. So it's in scale and it's quite a nice little plane. And I will show you it when it's painted. And here is the finished version of the aircraft. I've painted it in early war colors, uh, early war Navy colors. Uh, early war Japanese airplanes were painted uh, in white for uh, ground attack aircraft. Uh, later on in the war they switched to green and the army more or less did the opposite. So here is the plane and you can see I've given it a light grey coat and then I've brushed over it in a messy way and added a little bit of tan um, khaki earth just scraped along to show the weathering on the aircraft. Um, the serial numbers there and the makers numbers there and that's basically the plane. I will show you if I can find a Japanese soldier. I always have Japanese soldiers on hand just in case they're ever needed. There you go and that's the troops next to it and then I will show you it on a flying stand. And here it is on its little flying stand the flying stand is, believe it or not, made out of a CD uh, with a little bit of milliput attaching a dowel to it and I've just drilled a very small hole in the bottom of the aircraft to slot it into. Uh, one downside of this type of flying stand is it is slightly wobbly because the aircraft is rather top heavy although the round CD cover is the best way of making sure your models don't actually fall over. So that is the finished model as you do it and the same procedure more or less works for any other aircraft you want to do. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I, uh, if you did enjoy the video please click like and subscribe and I will do many more things like this and I'll get any if you need any more information on how to do things or if you want me to do any particular model just let me know and I'll see what I can do. Uh, the model is 28mm scale as I said before and it's designed to play with my bolt action figures 
So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video and goodbye.